Yo, so there's some really interesting kicks dropping this week. Plus, there's some shoes that I don't think we've even seen yet. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And this week kicks off with some love from Nike basketball to the NBA Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. While social media has its own feelings about KD moving to the Warriors, that has nothing to do with the launch of the KD-11. Kevin actually just went on a global tour for the launch of the shoe, which features Flyden on the upper, React cushioning, and Zoom. This Steel KD colorway is available right now for $150. Jumping ahead to Thursday is when things get really spicy, and from what I can tell, it is the biggest release day of the week. Let's start with the classics. Nike Sportswear is bringing back one of my favorite Air Max sneakers, the Air Max 95. They replaced the classic neon with solar red, and those will cost you $160 over at finish line. Keeping the red vibes alive, it looks like the Nike Vapor Max Flyknit 2 is also going to be dropping in red orbit and total orange. It's a bit of a mix of those two colors. Definitely ranks as one of the brightest shoes that I've seen in a long time, although they throw some black in there to kind of tame it down a little bit. Those will cost you $190 over at finish line. Moving over to Adidas, they actually have some really dope drops coming on Thursday as well. For the men and women, there are two options for the Adidas Pure Boost Go. This shoe is basically the brand's best option for seeing what Boost really feels like. If you want that purest feeling of Boost on your feet, these are the way to go. Both men and women get two different colorways and those will cost you $120, which actually isn't really that bad of a price when you think about the other Boost products. Moving on to the women's side, they might have the hottest sneaker dropping this week, the Adidas EQT Support RF Sock Prime Knit. These are dropping in three colorways and they look really nice like nice enough where I actually really want a pair of these myself. The ladies can grab those for $120 for that sleek prime knit upper. Now on the men's side, Adidas is mixing it up with the EQT Support Mid ADV. I actually own a few pairs of this shoe and I really like them because they're different from what you get usually when it comes to boost. You can grab those as well for $120 for three different colorways over at finish line. Now, jumping over to basketball, Nike has a little something lined up for Paul George with the PG 2.5. When it comes to Paul George's shoes, I kind of feel like he has the best of the best when it comes to price point versus performance. At $110, it's really hard to beat. So you can grab this black pair over at finish line on Thursday. Oddly enough, Friday is actually pretty empty when it comes to releases. There's only one actual silhouette dropping, but it's dropping in three different colorways for the ladies. The model is called the Nike Air Skylon 2, and it has roots in the early 90s and was one of the first trainer models to include air in the heel and the forefoot between the molded Phylon foam. Fun fact, Nike actually still does use that Phylon foam on certain sneakers, so this is something that's worked for them for a very long time. You can grab those for $100. Now, moving on to Saturday, we have Adidas coming through with the Alpha Bounce Instinct Climber. Adidas has actually been doing some really cool things with this shoe, especially as far as the colorways go. So if you're into the different colors and what looks like different textures on the shoe, you can grab these over at finish line for $120. If you'd rather rock a collab this weekend, the Nike Air Max 1 Para collab is dropping and it's been getting a lot of love from the sneaker and IG Twitter accounts that I follow. It's definitely bright and bold, but I think that's what I like about it. You can grab those for $150. Switching over to one of the low key shoes of the week that I think people are definitely going to sleep on. It's the Air Jordan 3 coming from Jordan Brand. Now this model is white on white with that white tumbled leather, but it has that ice blue outsole. This is not something you typically see from Jordan Brand and I feel like they're really letting the design of the shoe shine as opposed to relying on the classic colors of the shoe that people seem to gravitate towards. So this one is a little different, but if you like white shoes and you like Jordan 3s, this is definitely something you should have in your collection. Look for those to drop over at finish line for $190 on Saturday. All right, that's gonna do it for the show today. As you can tell, I'm not in the usual studio today. I'm in a hotel room in New York City, but didn't wanna leave you guys without a show. So make sure you check below for information on all the shoes that I talked about in the video today. And if you like what you see, make sure you turn on your notifications. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.